Hi, this is a demonstration of Dairy Farm Manager Add Base Product section. So, in this section, we'll see how you can add base products into the system. So, here a base product uh, means a product that you don't make yourself uh, or a product that you buy from outside. So, let's see how we can add base products. So, these are the products that you directly buy and you do not make by yourself. So let's uh, add a product. Suppose uh, you buy milk. Now this is the milk you buy directly in liters, not uh, the packets of milk, which are of fixed sizes. So now let's upload the photo. And here we have to select uh, the unit in which you buy. So it is uh, milligrams, grams, kg, ml, and liter. So let's select liter. And now let's enter cost per unit. At this is the cost at which you buy this product. So suppose it is uh, 40 rupees per liter. So we'll enter the cost per unit as 40 here. And now let's enter the description. Description is optional. If you don't want you can leave it blank and now let's so now let's uh, enter the starting stock or opening stock of this uh, resource so if you already have five liters of milk so you can enter five so this is the opening stock this is the stock uh, at which uh, no the stock you have of this product when you make the entry of this product in the system so now let's click on submit so as you can see on successful addition it says base product added so now le let's add one more product Suppose you buy milk pouches of half liter. So you can enter mother dairy half liter pack. So now let's uh, upload the image. And since uh, you directly buy packs that so you will uh, enter units so if uh, you buy some product uh, in uh, you know that is directly measured in kgs or liters or any other quantity which is not packed or which is not available in units so you can uh, enter that so if you buy directly by products you know you can just enter you bought uh, 10 packages or 20 packs of this product So after this, uh, let's enter the opening stock. So on clicking submit, the stock has been added into the system. So now let's enter one more product here. And now let's upload the image. Now let's enter the unit. So this uh, product is uh, measured in kgs. So we'll enter kg and let's enter cost uh, per unit. And then the opening stock. Suppose we have one kg with us right now when we make entry into the system, we'll enter one and let's click on submit. Now let's add another product. Let's add two, three products. So 
so we have one kg of almonds Now we are entering the last product for demonstration that is sugar. Then the units in sugar is uh, bought usually in kgs and then the cost per unit or cost per kg at which you brought bought the this uh, product and then the stock the current stock that you have uh, one means uh, one kg if you want to increase the stock you can increase the stock to two or two kg or three kg here in this way and click on submit so now the product entry has been made into the system so this is how you can enter base products at the cost that you buy that particular product at the unit at which you buy whether kg liters or directly as quantity so this is how the base product entry section works thank you